A terrifying caught in the act of drivers speeding through a neighborhood past children on bicycles. This video captured along Ote Street in East Nashville. But it's something that could happen on any residential road. Now, city officials want to hear from you to address problems like this. News Force Brittany Weiner spoke with a homeowner who captured this alarming video. Brittany, he's planning to talk to the city officials about this. He wants it stopped. That's right, Tom and Tracy. So this street right here is actually part of a city bus so route. Like it also Mike. sees a lot of pedestrian and bicyclist traffic. But as you can see, there's no sidewalk along most of this road. Just this short stretch of sidewalk over here. So it can be extremely dangerous for people who are biking and walking. And many homeowners say speeding is an issue along this road and they worry someone could be seriously hurt. You can hear the car before you even see it. A gray Dodge Charger speeding up this East Nashville street, forcing kids on bikes to swerve for safety. I mean, my heart stopped, but I bet you that car missed those bicyclists by two, three feet maximum. Stefan Rodriguez saw this firsthand. If I had to guess, I would, I would bet money on 70 miles an hour. I mean, they were flying by. Rodriguez says, unfortunately, speeding isn't uncommon on his road. People just fly by 24 7, 365. It's so dangerous. After this incident, Rodriguez is planning on taking action. I think that the intersection behind us is a great uh, three way stop applicant as well. He's considering applying for the Public Works Traffic Calming, a program Walk Bike Nashville works closely with. The more neighborhoods the that apply, the more demand we can show to the city to make sure that they continue to fund the program. Executive Director Nora Curran says close calls like this one are a top complaint that they hear about. I mean, it's terrifying. Um, definitely, you know, neighborhood streets are where you want to be safe, walking, biking. Something Rodriguez hopes for for his neighborhood. The bottom line is, is that you don't need to be driving that fast through a residential neighborhood ever. And this traffic calming program is how Metro Public Works makes sure that the streets of Nashville are a safer place. So if you have any concerns about the street that you live on, you want some changes made to make them safer, you can apply for this traffic calming program. Now, the second window for traffic calming applications actually opened up today. The deadline is July 22nd. If you'd like to apply, just go to the web story on our website, WSMV.com.